13 strikeouts in seven of, in the third inning. Leal Yon Shu gets things started. He looks at a first pitch called strike. The umpires this year have been terrific. Yon Shu on the line, center field, going over and over the head of Davy J. Recca. He'll get it back in. Lead off double. Three two, first swing, hard hit ball. He will square, that's bounced, and trying to feast on maybe some mistakes that happen throughout the tournament. They weighed out teams. One, two, a rare swing and a miss. Yi Che got behind, and he did chase. First baseman, two for nine. Inside, got him on the leg. That one may hurt a little bit. That was a fastball. They've outscored their opponents 48 to one. Say it again, or are you good? No, I think we're good now. <laughs> yeah, we're good now, thank you. First time at Lomity for Chinese Taipei. Popped up on the infield. Jadlin Wheel, a great pitcher from yesterday, makes the play, and that's a big, big out. And with the zone. On the inside corner, runner heading down. They'll just let him get to second base. Look, beautiful shot. It is such a great look. I know, second base snared. Provacia got him. Nice play by Alexander Provacia. Prevented two runs from coming in, and you'll see all sorts of emotion from Team Curacao after Chinese Taipei and runners in scoring position. Yep, 31 strikeouts, four walks for the Chinese Taipei pitchers in this tournament. And he wants to meet Julio on very rich now Rodriguez in the Seattle Mariners. Two and two with two strikeouts already. The next one from Lee Fang Mo. That one is hit to the third baseman and Wang Yon Fu makes a nice play. Ahead on them. Ooh. Second strikeout caught looking. Some small bomb. On the infield, quick look to Pulvasia. And he's there to make the final out. The last 11 days as Hinkle gets set for an 0-2. And he's gone. Three strikeouts. Australia, Canada, Italy. Week in December. Jacobus, and that's going to get down. There you go. First hit for Curacao off the bat of Shamar Jacobus. And that breaking pitch got a little too much of the plate. Betty died of breaking pitches down and away. And there's another one on a quick pitch. Another punch out. Yes. Why is in the house? Jam shot. Let's go three for three. Batter must have thought it, it hit him or something. He never left the batter's box. <laughs> Coach is saying the ball ended up at the second baseman's glove. Catcher interference, and I don't know if that's reviewable, but that's the end. That's obviously not catcher interference. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what we're, what we're peeking. Look, it almost, it almost it looks ball? like, yeah, each eight lost where the ball went. Because look at his eyes. He's looking up. He has no idea where the ball is. It's no. not there. Out but first. You're not going to give up looking. Of course not. Provasia one for eight. He'll square again. This one is down. It's a good one. Gone foo. No, he throws that off the first baseman. Now heading to second base. And into scoring position. Provasia. Good bunt. Little shimmy. strike three on the corner, and that'll send Cordelia back to the dugout. Now, and you, you don't say this very much with 12-year-olds. Oh, oh, there's that mistake they were looking for, and now to third base goes Provasia with a good hitter and a speedy runner, and Franco oh, and sent right down the middle of the plate, and he was frozen pizza on a breaking pitch. Waiting at third for any ball that gets away from the catcher. Sang Yi Che. Luisa in the hole, and that's through into right field. His fifth hit, the biggest one at the World Series, and it gives Curacao a 1 0 lead. Also, the biggest advantage of being a left handed hitter is everything's moving in towards you, and you see it in on the hands. It's a nice job. Luisa, beautiful job off the bench. Biggest hit for Curacao. Wheel, couple of hops, 
Cheng Yin makes the play. Chen play, and uh, I'm so proud of him. All right, thank you very much for the time, guys. Oh. Send it back up to you. Thank you. That's right. What a catch, Jason Cordelia. Didn't look like he had a chance to run it down, and he did. <laughs> How about that hug, too? That's the greatest catch that he'll ever make as you watch the ball continue to tail towards the line. So he's got to follow it not only with his glove, but with his body. Makes the grab, makes him leave his feet diving just short of the wall. That is the best catch we have seen here in the biggest game, the International Championship. Coster has retired nine in a row. Make it 10. End of the bat, liner. Keyshore Hinkle makes the play. It leads people to buy the West on the corner strike three. Any idea on that? I think it's everything. I mean, you got your favorite players. You got the, the cool defensive plays. I'll tell you what, I'd be sporting a jersey. Jathan Cordelia all day long making the grab. Now he's ready on a 1-2. That is on the inside corner. Parador. The favorite athlete is Steph Curry because he knocks buckets down like him. Ooh, that's off the helmet. Little breaking pitch. Won't hurt Winklar. He's running down to first base and he's ready. After they won to get to this game was priceless. Back up the middle. It's fielded by Fang Mo to the shortstop to first. He got him double play. Good turn by Juan Shu. And Jacobus retired. Boy, we've seen a handful of good double plays. How about starting this on the mound? Lee Fang Mo with a perfect feed, and that is quick. Right foot on the back, comes right across, fires it to first. Get in there and do it again. 2 2 on the ground in the hole. We lost no chance. And there's a big hit. He was shifted towards the second base bag, and that's a hit for Hong. Tenemos llegaron. He's throwing some warm-up pitches. This one is into right field. Hong will be held at second, but the first threat again since the first inning. The Chinese Taipei, and what a really good job by the substitute hitters today. Two of them with hits. Popped up. Catcher doesn't see it. Now he does. Really good reaction from Emery Hansen. Big play by Emery coming out from behind the plate. Didn't see it right away. Got some help from his mates. He knows exactly where he's at from a pitch count standpoint. He knows exactly where he's at in his lineup. On the ground, that's up the middle. It's picked up by Reichen. He will throw it to the cutoff man. Back to third. The bases are loaded. Ooh. Hold the runner at third. You got a good lefty coming up. You knew DeCoster's coming out of the game. And here we go. Michael went down to a knee, too. I mean, he wasn't coming through do or die type situation. I'm surprised they didn't send him. Look at center field. Davy J. Wright goes down to a knee. As soon as this happens, you're sending him, especially because there's been so many limited opportunities of hits. We know Taipei is not going to ton. You take a look here. Going down to the knee. That's basically as soon as he goes to that cut, there was a huge chance to be able to score there. Costa's going to get a big ovation as they're going to take him out of the game. He was terrific. <laughs> no doubt's very proud. We'll be back. Bases loaded in a 1 0 game. Winner moves on to the Little League World Series championship game. Driven to left. Right into the glove of Cordelia. Watch the celebration as Curacao comes off. Yep, off speed, frozen again. And that's a strikeout. Fossia on the infield. It's the shortstop, Ayala Kwan Shu. 2 2. Hey, out the fastball again. Fossia is retired. Well, we're heading to the sixth inning. Taipei just left them loaded in the fifth. Dushandrickson Duran stays on the mound, and this is a slow roller. Provasia. There's one down in the sixth, two outs away. Provasia. He's a busy. Look at that. In Taipei, they select the team from schools. They don't use towns, they use schools. 
And all these kids attended the same school. This one to center field. Like a back. He makes the catch. That's a home run rubber. They have the right guy in the right place, and it stays a 1 0 game. <laughs> of this team, the group hug after this. I mean, this wins you a ball game, not only getting back to the wall, but then turning your back to it and making this grab over your head. So right here, Rika's going to actually lose the ball as it goes over his head. Still makes the grab. It's a blind catch right behind his head. <laughs> oh, man, the hardest hit, too, that we've seen from Chinese Taipei this entire tournament. Oh, yeah, that ball was going to go out. That's they haven't hit a home run. Was so relaxed and good. Like he knew where the wall was. He knew that he had just enough time to make the play, and then he knew his right fielder and his left fielder were both going to run over and hug him right afterwards because they did. All of them were in center field after that. I'll tell you what, my heart does to put Wing Young Fu, though. We talked to this Chinese Taipei team, they hadn't had a home run. Nice try. <laughs> no. You see the elbow, too, kind of. <laughs> you don't know if you don't ask, but in this one, I think the answer is no. No hit gonna... by pitch. Stay right here. Yeah, no hit by pitch is right. There you go. Now the tying run moves to first base. You know, anxiety driving for the Coruscant fan base and those back watching on the island. Up the middle, this could do it. Duran. Your international champions, and they are going bananas on the field. What a win! They're playing for a Little League World Series championship tomorrow. And they are the best international team in the world this year. And for the moment Curacao stopped on the field, they became a fan favorite. You see why. The emotion, and, and you see that here at the Little League World Series, but this is a whole other level. Coaches, players, we saw the big defensive plays and the automatic hugs, them picking each other up, the way that they play for each other, for their country, the support they've got back. Curacao winning it all the international side. Well, they did it the hard way. They had to come back through the loser's bracket, which is not an easy thing to do right now with more teams. This is the seventh game that they've played at the Little League World Series. Just the fourth for Chinese Taipei. So you got to use more arms. You got to rely on more kids. And ultimately, it was just enough today. One nothing. They will play for the whole thing tomorrow. It's losing 9-3 to Panama in game two here. They have allowed just five runs in five games. You know who's excited right now? Bam Bam. I know. <laughs> we got one more day at Bam Bam place. That's all the people out today, and it will be tomorrow. Exactly. I want Ringmar Rapp, who is the guy that embraced Zeno Everett. He's been coaching and playing for a long time. Started playing when he was seven. He started coaching in 18, and, you know, he was the coach of the team that last year won the Caribbean region, but didn't, of course, get a chance to come to Williamsport because there was no international bracket last year in Williamsport. Thank <laughs> you.